Hello, my name is Becca and I am from the Teens Department at the Allen County Public Library. Today I'm going to be talking to you about databases. I'll show you where you can find them and I'll give you some searching tips to help you find information using those databases. This is the main page of the ACPL website. A really quick way to get here is by typing acpl.info into your browser's address bar at the top. The first thing we're going to do is go to the Research tab and then go down to Research and Databases. This is a full list of all the databases that ACPL offers. We're going to go down to Inspire for today's video. Inspire is a collection of online academic databases and it has other information and resources as well. Inspire can actually be accessed by anyone who lives in Indiana, so you don't have to go through the ACPL website to get to Inspire. You can actually just type inspire.net and it takes you to the same website. For today's video, we're going to the tab that says Databases A through Z. We're going to scroll down until we find Explora. There are a few different options for Explora, but we're going to use Explora for high schools today. I'm now going to give you a few searching tips. I'm going to start with a really basic search. I'll just try the word tiger. Before I hit the search button, you'll see that there are a few other suggested searches that pop up. We have suggestions like Tiger Woods, Tiger King, Tiger Parenting. Even though there are a lot of different suggestions, they don't necessarily fit with what I'm trying to find. For right now, I'll hit the search button to show you what happens when we just search for the word tiger. If you can read this number here, we got over 50,000 search results. The number is pretty high, and I don't really think I have the time to sit through and read over 50,000 documents. I want to limit these search results as best as I can. One thing you can do is be more specific with your search to narrow down the results. Instead of just searching tiger, I could try to search for a specific breed or type of tiger. Let's try searching for Bengal tiger instead. As you can see, we now only get 401 results, which is a lot less than 50,000. Now I also know I'm only getting results about Bengal tigers. I'm not going to get anything about Tiger Woods or the Netflix show Tiger King. We can actually limit our search results even further. We're going to take a look at the left-hand side of the page to do this. You'll notice this limiter here that says full text. We always want to make sure that box is checked. When you're using a database, you want to make sure the sources you're looking at are full text. You don't want to waste your time by reading a document that you think is great, but then you realize half the article is missing. You always want to make sure everything you're reading has the full text. We can also limit our search results by publication date. As you can see, some of these sources were published all the way back in 1976. For my search today, I want to find sources that were published more recently. I might try to limit my results so the only sources I see are ones that were published between the years 2010 and 2020. That cuts down our search results even more. Now we only get 210 results, which is even better. If we click show more to the left, we'll be shown a few different advanced search options. We can also limit by number of pages and Lexile reading level. If we check this box here, we'll only see sources that have been peer reviewed. If an article has been peer reviewed, that means it has been reviewed and critiqued by the author's peers who are also experts in the same subject area. We can also limit by source types. If I want to only look at news articles, I could check this box here. If I want to only read academic journals, I could check this box here. You can click as many of these boxes as you want. I think I only want to look at news articles and academic journals right now. Before we look at one of these articles, I want to show you the different subjects here. These are topics that are discussed in the article, so you can take a look at those before you click on the actual article to see if this source will be useful to you. 
I think for today's video, I'm going to click on this article. You can see that this article is only three pages long. We also have options here at the top to download and print the article. We can also go over to the side here and we can have the article be emailed to us. I also want to point out the citation tool here. This is a really great tool because it creates a citation for the source. We can see that there are a lot of different citation formats here. We have APA and MLA and a lot of other ones as well. You want to ask your teacher which one they prefer for your class. You can highlight the entire citation and hit Control C to copy it and then Control P to paste it into your works cited document. You always want to remember to cite all your sources so that any information from this article that you might reference in an essay or another project can be linked back to the original source. That's all the information I have for you today. Thank you for listening.